All right, this problem right here says to simplify, but we see a ginormous fraction. That means that we're dividing. Okay, we're going to use the reverse tabular method to do this, bad boy. So let's set it up and get busy. Are there any missing terms in the top or the bottom? No. Nah. And you know if there's missing terms by looking at the highest exponent. The highest exponent is known as the degree. So the degree of this is 4. If it's, the, if it's 4, that means there should be 5 terms. What if the highest... Uh, exponent, the degree was 2. How many terms should there be? There should be 3 terms. And so you can always count the terms to see if they're missing. Or you can do what I like to do, and I like to see if they count down. 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. You know, that would be x to the 0. You guys see that? It should always count down like that. And if you're missing a term, make sure you put it in there before you start setting things up. So, um, I'm going to draw a box right here because we're using tabular method. I don't know how big my box should be. But I do know um, I have two terms right here from the first factor that I'm given. This is the factor that we know. So we put factors right here and right here. We put the answer around the outside. Let me fix that right there. The box is kind of bugging me. So we have an arrow right here and an arrow right here. You always put the arrows in the corners because the corners are what shows you where the diagonals are. So now we're going to put our answer along the side. Remember, we get those by adding up the diagonals. So the first one is x to the fourth, and then it's 7x to the third. And how many terms do I have left, left, Christian? How many terms do I have left to put on there? What? Three. Yeah, three. So we have one, two, three. And at each of those arrows, we're going to draw a line. So now we can see that there's four columns. And so the first one... Um, uh, our next term is 10x squared. What's the x term? What do we get for that one? Uh, Logan. 3x. And then the last one is what, Ellie? Is 6. Very nice. After you do that, you can start filling stuff in. And you're, you're trying to work backwards. Okay, so if x to the fourth was just put out right there, he didn't have to add to anybody. We can throw him inside the box. Same here with the 6. And so the first and the last terms always can just shoot right into the box and you can start getting busy. Now, we get this by going this number times this number. And our answer is going to be up here. Oops. It's going to be up here, so that's what we're looking for. So what times x, what times x will give me x to the fourth? Shout it out. x to the third power. Very nice. And then we can also find this one because we have the 6 right here. What times 2 gives me 6? Three. Okay, so far so good, right? As long as we have one number in that column, we can find the answer. Okay? Now we don't have a number in this column, and so we're not going to be able to find this answer until we figure out another number. So we start filling this stuff out. We have x to the third times two, which would be two x to the third. And this number plus this number is supposed to give me this number. So we have to kind of work backwards here. What is that missing number there, Allison? Yeah, let, let her think. She's got this. Yeah, you, would you say 5? 5x five cubed. Five cubed. Because 5x cubed plus 2x cubed gives me 7x cubed. Very nice. Now we have a number right there. Yay. We can find this one. So what times x gives me x or 5x to the third? Yeah, 5x squared. So we have 5x squared right there. Very nice. And now we need a number in these columns right here. And you can do one of two ways. You can either like find this number and work backwards like that, or we can find this number right here and work backwards like that. It doesn't matter. You can uh, do either way. I'm going to find this number right here because that one has small numbers. 3 times x, that's no problem. Okay, now I have 3x plus something gives me 3x. Class, what is that? 0x, zero. Zero right? 3x plus 0x's will give me 3x, and so... What do I have to multiply a 2 by to get 0? Yeah, so I put a 0 right there. That's actually a 0x, so you can just write 0. It doesn't matter. It'll be the same thing. Now we have our answer. We have x to the third power plus 5x squared, and then we have plus 3. Now, if you notice the pattern, well, actually, that's our answer. Now, if you notice the pattern, you were able to do this one down here pretty quickly. Okay, um, but if you didn't notice the pattern, that's fine. You just had to... Uh, do the long division here. Now that's for today's lesson, so I'm going to stop the video right here. I just wanted to review how to use 
the reverse tabular method uh, to divide. 